Blake here, folks. Today we're going to be talking 3D printing. We're going to be looking at consumer printing in specific. We have a new company getting a lot of funding, $19 million. It's a small company called Form Labs, and they just received that funding for its Form 1 consumer printer pictured here. This competes with printers like the CubeX from 3D Systems and the MakerPot Replicator 2 from Stratasys. The Form 1 is special because it uses a technology called SLA that uses lasers to cure resin to make an object. Basically, you have a vat of uh, resin, it's a liquid, you use lasers to fuse it together to create an object. The Cube and the Replicator use a technology called Fused Disposition Modeling or Material Extrusion, one of those two terms, whichever one you'd like to use, to selectively deposit material layer by layer to build an object. So very different technologies in these printers, but they do compete. The SLA tech has its own advantages and disadvantages versus fused, disp mod fused disposition modeling used by Stratasys and 3D Systems. You get a better surface finish with SLA. Basically, that means it's smoother, and the resolution is a lot better at 25 microns compared to 100 for the Replicator 2X. So basically, you can print more complex objects that look a lot prettier. The downsides are the build area is a, it's smaller than what you get on the other printers, and the material selection is more limited as well, and the parts also have lower mechanical properties. Basically, they're not as strong as what you get with a fused disposition modeling machine. This printer will be preferable for users who want to make very detailed and pretty prototypes or finished products that don't have to be strong or don't have to have a lot of stresses on them. The printer is definitely a competitor to Stratasys and 3D Systems consumer lines. Currently, it's up for the Best Consumer Printer Award at the London Print Show versus the Replicator. So I'll we'll have to see who wins that award. It'll be great marketing potential for Stratasys or Form Labs, whoever wins that. The takeaway here, folks, though, is the consumer printing segment of 3D printing is one of the faster growing segments in the industry, growing at super normal rates, as we definitely saw with 3D Systems' latest earnings results. It has awesome growth in their Cube line of printers. The Form 1 is a niche printer, and I think there's room for it in the marketplace without displacing products from Stratasys and 3D Systems too much. Make no mistake though, the Form 1 will be going after 3D Systems and Stratasys customers. The company is also involved in some litigation with 3D Systems over some patent infringement pertaining to that SLA technology it's using in its printer. So we'll keep an eye on that to see if there's any big settlements there that would hurt Form Labs or 3D Systems for that matter. Keep an eye on this small startup though. The $19 million they received will definitely allow them to get a foot in the door. The real question is if they can keep that door open and capitalize on this great opportunity of the small startup startup has been given. Be sure to check back at fool.com. I'll be covering 3D printing extensively for the time being. Um, also, we have some three great stock picks for you. It's a special free report, and if you email us at retirerich at fool.com, we can get those to you, help you save for retirement, focus on long-term investing with those picks. That's all I have for you today, folks. Thanks for watching, and fool on.